I've just felt so down today. I feel like nothing's going the way it should be. I'm not productive. I'm basically just like ripping myself apart in my brain. Do you guys get this way? All right, guys, it's another day. I always want to say another vlog, just like Justin Gabriel, but are you kidding me, dog? They keep opening the doors and then they never close it. I have just been hanging out. I got some stuff done today. Now, I have just been watching my show. My days, as you guys have seen, have been kind of boring. I mean, they're not boring. I think boring is relative to the person, but I've just been like alone, just doing my thing. Sometimes I go and hang out with the kids and swim and watch movies and stuff. But other than that, I just hang out with my family here, so it's been nice. But I have all these papers everywhere. All my different papers for videos, for tutoring, for all this kind of stuff. So it's been a little stressful, but I figured I'd just vlog today. Today's gonna be a fun day. I am doing a ton of tutoring and all the kids are outside. Well, not all the kids, but the little girls and their friends are outside on, at the pool. I've been getting headaches a little pretty easily. And so I decided to veto the pool idea for right now. I also just washed my hair like twice this week and I'm not supposed to, but yep. So I'm just gonna chill watching my movie, doing some studying and I thought I'd bring you along with me. It's way too bright for you to see that, but that's what they're doing. I'm actually really enjoying being able to just sit here. I have been crazy busy just all over the place trying to get all these tasks done, but now it's time to relax. All right, you guys. I thought I'd come on here really fast and just be like really real with you guys. Have a little chit chat. I've spent all day laying in my bed and for someone who like is constantly working now i think everyone like has a different idea of that and stuff but for me personally i've been working like crazy and like trying to get all these videos filmed and stuff and like watching my siblings and so laying in bed would sound actually so nice and relaxing but man does it make me like even less happy does that happen for you guys i feel like when I, like, almost, almost like if you sleep in, right, people would think when you sleep in, it makes you more energized because you got more sleep. But in reality, it doesn't help you. It actually makes you more tired. So I feel like that's kind of how it is. If you're, like, trying to be more energized, laying in bed all day actually is counterproductive. And I've really felt that. I've just felt so down today. Do you know what I mean? Does this happen to you guys? I feel like nothing's going the way it should be. I'm not productive. I'm basically just like ripping myself apart in my brain. But yeah, so that's my ordeal lately. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. I am gonna clean because I wanna feel productive. Ow, what does your girl do when she wants to feel productive? She cleans. And this definitely needs to be cleaned. So I set myself a very, 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 very large to-do list. Well, let me show you. This is today's to-do list. It is currently 7 p.m. and I just made this to-do list for the rest of the day. So, I really, really like lists and I really, 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 really like being productive and getting my stuff done. However, I have some issues with that because I feel like I'm very much so a perfectionist and slightly OCD. I feel like I can become very, like, I can really become a perfectionist because I get so, so nitpicky, so specific, and very particular on the way I do things. And if it's not done that way, I have a major meltdown. And I just feel like I'm a failure. I feel like I'm not doing it right. I feel like everyone's out to get me, basically. Um, and I know they aren't, okay? It's just a mindset. I'm just trying to show you into my brain. So we're kind of struggling right now. I thought I'd just be honest with you guys. I filmed videos a long time ago talking about being honest and real with you guys, showing you guys into my life. So here's me showing you guys my life. So don't come at me. So I'm cleaning. Here we go. Okay, we cleaned up most things in the kitchen. Um, I loaded a lot of the dishes. 
and I've come back to the room. I've been able to check off some of my checklist and I just wanted to show you guys this. So whenever I get crazy and very like focused in or narr like narrow minded, I like to write out all my thoughts, all my feelings, lists, whatever works for me, write it all down because I, when I say things out loud or when I say things outward, right, instead of saying it in my mind and to myself, it's still keeping it inwards. When I like let it out, whether that's on paper to a person in a video like this right here, I tend to talk myself through it basically. And so that's why I like to write my journal a lot and I have a very large journal. You can see it's bigger than my face. Oh, there's some notes. And so I'm doing that right now because it's another coping mechanism of mine and you know, I'm really needing it today. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just thought I'd show you guys. Alright you guys, the kids are currently watching movies, all of them are watching movies, you can hear it downstairs. I am low-key kind of sad, like I want to go and watch the movie with them so bad, but I have so much work to do. So like literally look at my computer. These are the files I'm organizing, getting things done. I want to go and hang out with them so badly and I want to spend time with them, but I'm such a freaking workaholic that I'm like, no, I gotta get work done. I am just so in with like what I'm doing that I just can't and it's not good. That's not good. <laughs> That's depressing. What? Well, what do we do now? <laughs> Done. All right, you guys, it is the close of the day. I have not been doing too much, that's why I didn't film much, I'm so sorry. But my siblings are cooler than me, by like a long shot. <laughs> I feel like this old person that does nothing with my day, but it's okay. I don't want this video to be like all of a Debbie Downer because I have a fantastic life and I love it so much. And technically I choose this lifestyle that I'm doing, but let me just show you what our house looks like right now. Look at all the children. And everyone's out having fun, partying it up, and I am going to watch my movie by myself because that makes me very happy. Clelea, like three years ago, would have been like so depressed and stir crazy spending time on her own. But college, college one taught me like who I was and my personality. I feel like it taught me more um, balance. That's like rainbow balance. Because I really, really enjoy my alone time. I used to like, hate. so I guess growing up, my parents always needed to give me quiet time, not to like punish me, but they, I needed quiet time because I'd get so overly stimulated and then I'd get really cranky. And I still do that to this day. I have to kind of take my breaks, um, catch my breath a little bit. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm really enjoying my alone time all by myself watching my movie because it's like my way of recharging. I just, I just sometimes need to have my moment and take a break from everyone. And it, it helps though because I am mindful of myself and I know that I need that. And I think that's so good. Like it's really, really good if you can be mindful and know when you need to recharge, when you need all that stuff, because it, I feel like lowers the depression or your anxiety. If you're more mindful of everything, you can figure out what's triggering it and you can change your environment a little. But, yeah. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk.